Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Just Dreamy. <laughs> Just want to thank you guys for coming back and watching my video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. If you've been watching my last few videos, thank you so much for coming back. You know how I start my videos. <laughs> so today guys, I'm going to be doing a super exciting review featuring a Canadian brand, Bite Beauty. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Bite Beauty recently reformulated all their products. I do have Bite Beauty products from before. I know that they are more natural than a lot of other brands. Basically their products are clean, vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. So basically you can eat your makeup if you run out of food. Okay. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> I feel super Canadian today. I'm wearing red. I feel like I should be having a beer, eh? I should be watching like hockey or something. Yeah, so I'm really excited to be sharing this Canadian brand with you guys today. Can we just talk about this packaging? It's so cute. So there are foundations, primers, and powders, 20 shades of lip crayons, and lastly, their new Agave Intense Lip Mask. So cute! Just had a shower, guys. Let's do this. Just waiting for my hair to dry. But how cute are my curls lately? I love it. I'm so excited to try all the new products. I did go ahead and put on my eyebrows and also a little bit of concealer under my eyes just because this collection doesn't have a concealer yet they just came out with the primer the foundation and then the powder so i thought you know i would just do my regular makeup routine and see how it all works together sorry guys if you feel like i'm being a little bit off honestly i've been really sick the last couple of days don't worry i don't have you know what it is I just don't feel totally like myself. My face kind of poofed up. My lips are dry and crusty. We don't need that. Oh, honey, no. And yeah, I just don't feel cute right now, but I thought, you know what? Like I wanted to do this review for you guys and come on here and talk to you. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of a lip balm. My crusty ass lips need to go. But there are two shades that came out with this collection. It's the Agave Intensive Lip Mask, this color Buzzed, and uh, Transparent color. Okay. Ooh, it's like a really pretty pinky color with some gold flex to it, but it's like super, super light. I don't know if you guys see that. I'm just gonna look over here to the mirror. Ooh, she is juicy. I feel like if your lips are not as dark as mine, it will definitely show up a little bit, the tint. But because my lips are so dark, it looks like a permanent lip liner around my lips. Brown girl problems. Yep. I can't really tell the color, but it does feel sticky and moisturizing. I wish it wasn't as sticky. I kind of wish there was a bit more of a slip to it, but it's not bad. So the next thing we're gonna do is apply the primer. There are two primers. It's called the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. There is Normal to Dry, which is supposed to be more hydrating. And then there is the Normal to Oily, which is more for oily skin. My skin, I would say, is definitely more on the Normal to Dry side. So I'm going to be using the Hydrating Primer. I do want to tell you guys a little about the primer, so let me read my notes. It says it's a high performance technology that neutralizes skin type and grips foundation. It's hydrating or mattifying depending on the one that you use. The hydrating primer has olive oil, hyaluronic acid, so don't be scared of the word acid. It's hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to be really good for your skin to hydrate. The mattifying primer has willow bark that helps to control shine and blur pores. And both primers full of antioxidants, specifically this berry uh, called Mekwa? 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 Shaniqua? Mekwa? I don't know. Ellen said the word in the bottom. I'm just gonna call it Mekwa. I'm so stupid. 
It's a berry. I'm gonna be trying the normal to dry primer. Let's see this. I don't know about you guys, but I typically don't use a primer when I'm wearing makeup. I used to years ago, but I kind of took that step away from my routine. I don't know why, to be honest. I want it to be quicker or who knows. So I'm just going to apply the primer with my fingers. I'm not going to be fancy and use a brush and be all like fabulous. So Instagram, no. This primer feels so cooling. That primer feels pretty good actually. It feels like a like a moisturizer, but I mean I would still wear a moisturizer underneath my primer, but it feels good. I'm gonna let that sit for like 30 seconds and then I'm gonna apply the foundation. This foundation is called Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I am a little bit nervous to try on the foundation just because I typically don't wear matte foundation and this uh, foundation is advertised to be a matte foundation. So we'll see what happens. I'll tell you guys a little bit about the foundation while we wait for the primer to sink in. So it's a creamy, long-wearing foundation. It's buildable, has medium coverage. I'm just reading my notes. And a lot of antioxidants, rich superfood with that Maqua, Maki, Shaniqua, I don't know, berry, and has gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a smooth, non cakey look. Bite did send me three shades in the foundation. Well, I am so excited. I really hope that this foundation matches me. I would say I have a golden olive skin tone that's obviously tanned. I have a lot of green in my skin, like Hulk or Shrek. Anyways, so let's try the foundation. So the shades that were given to me were T100, T110, and T105. I'm gonna swatch them all and see which one is the best color match. So I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the T100, T105, and T110. I do think T100 has a little bit more of a peachy tones. T105 has more of that golden olive skin tone, and T110 is quite warm and orangey. I think T110 would be a great color for me in the summer, but right now I think T105 is my perfect match. So let me try that. There are 32 shades in the foundation, which is amazing, wow, but I wow, do wow, think wow, there wow. could be more variety with the undertones just because there are a lot of foundations that have over 40 shades. On the website, they do say to apply the foundation with your fingers or a brush, but this is the shade T105. So the way I apply my foundation is typically with my good old fingers to apply the product. So I would probably dot that much on my skin. Gonna grab my brush, the MAC 130. You know the drill guys, it's blending time. Blend, blend, blend. You know what I wanna do? I want to apply a little bit of the darker shade, the T. 110 and the outskirts of my face and see what happens hmm so what are you guys snacking on right now so what i'm loving about this foundation so far is that it looks like my skin and the color match is pretty good actually i know typically people don't like mixing two different colors i do like the mix of t105 and t110 as you can see, there's still a slight glow to my skin, but I can't tell if that's because of my skincare or because of the foundation. But I do feel like it's not super matte. It looks like skin. I don't put a lot of foundation on my forehead just because I feel like I don't need it up there. So I tend to focus on around my mouth and a little bit on my chin. Don't forget to put your foundation down your neck. Snatcheroo. So everything matches seamlessly. I'm actually pretty happy with this. It looks like skin. Do you guys like it? 
I applied a very, very light layer. And since the foundation said it's buildable, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. So I'm gonna take the darker shade and just kind of blend it around my mouth and just a little bit here. Okay guys, it is singing time. Shining, 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 shining. So a trick with foundation too, guys, when you're um, when you have tan skin, you'll notice a lot of hyperpigmentation around your mouth. If you go with a very light shade or something that's very yellow based, it's gonna make your mouth area look a lot more ashy. But if you go with more of a orangier tone, it's going to neutralize that color. So I really like it so far. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the powder. The powder is supposed to make your skin look silky, soft, and matte. And it has volcanic minerals and not talc. So talc is not supposed to be good for your skin. It's very pore clogging. This powder helps to blur, control, shine, and mattify. Interesting, there's some volcanic minerals in this powder. Wow. Looks like this. It's called the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. They sent me two shades, wow. medium two and tan one. I find medium two looks a little bit more yellow and tan one looks a little bit more rosy. I do prefer more yellow tones on my skin tone. I'm gonna try that medium two shade underneath my eyes to set my concealer. I will use it um, to set my face later on. I like to set my eyelids as well, so they're not greasy looking. So since guys, my primer, foundation, and powder is on, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. Guys, I put on my bronzer, my blush. I think it looks really good. And there's a little bit of glow without any highlighter. Ooh, and I really like it. Just reminding y'all to please subscribe. What are y'all waiting for though? What are we waiting for? I kind of went ahead and put this color Calvados. It's one of the lip products on my eye, like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. What do you guys think? But you know what? If you guys get an eye infection, pink eye, lose an eye, it's not my fault, okay? So I'm warning you, hopefully nothing weird happens. Un momento. I did go ahead and put on some mascara and some highlighter. And so far, I really like it. So guys, it's been a couple hours since I've had my foundation on. I honestly am really surprised how much I liked it. I normally don't like matte foundations or ones that are geared towards matte skin, but I am finding my skin doesn't look super matte. It actually looks really healthy and really natural. And it just feels like skin, like my skin, but better. The only thing I did notice with the foundation though is that it did settle a little bit under my laugh lines, but I did notice that when you powder your face, it does improve the laugh lines and it does go away. So you just have to set your foundation a little bit after you apply it. But the primer, it's hard for me to compare this primer with another primer just because I tend to not really wear primers. I do think it's super hydrating. It's very moisturizing. There's no weird dry patches. So I think the primer did help with the foundation and its performance. I really did like the powder too the volcanic minerals or whatever they use. It can make my skin look really smooth, powdery, doesn't look dry or cakey. It looks very natural. I'm just not sure about the color match. I do want to go to Sephora or Buy Beauty when it does open up and see if there's a color that I might like better. Guys, I really like the foundation and the powder. If you have oily skin, you're gonna love it. It looks natural. If you do have normal to dry skin like me, you just have to make sure that you do use hydrating products underneath the foundation. I just wanna say thank you by beauty so much for sending me these beautiful products. I really, really appreciate it, you guys. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
please comment, like, and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that, you guys. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for my next video. Thank you so much, guys, for dealing with my low energy today. I just have not been feeling well, but I really wanted to come on and talk to you, chit chat about Bite Beauty. And as you know, if you wanna keep on talking, my Instagram is just Jamie P. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing all the lip swatches for the um, lip crayons from Bite Beauty. See you then, guys.